Oops, we did it again. We've got more babies born here at Venom Central. Actions prove who somebody is and words prove who somebody wants to be. Often imitated, never duplicated. Welcome to Venom Central. Fierce, fascinating education. Hey, before we get started, I want to thank my loyal supporters, my Venom Squad, my crew, my gang. <laughs> hey, we love you guys. And without your guys' support, we wouldn't be able to keep doing this. And and that's the honest guy's truth, guys. I mean, especially since they pulled some of my bigger videos. I mean, it cut our AdSense money. <laughs> Not that we make a bunch of money anyways, but every little bit helps. And we truly appreciate the Venom Squad. Hey, Wagon Tail Farms, thank you so much much sean black sean thank you so much brother and you know what you're a constant sean and you're a big part of the venom squad um steven stewart music steven thank you so much brother it it means the world to us and and you know it's like god sent us an angel with you because you're always there for us and your wonderful comments and and, and just what you do for us is amazing steven thank you so much mm -hmm. and dan mccarty thank you brother and little evelyn your your ward, she's jamming, bro. She's eating like a little monster. But um, we'll show her pretty soon coming up here. But I want to thank everybody, and we're not going nowhere, guys. We're gonna get bigger, better, badder than ever. So hang in there, guys. We're gonna get rolling with this video. What's up, my Venom Squad? Hey, guys. Today, you know what's coming? More babies. Oh, they, we just got more babies to show you. <laughs> this is something that, that, this is what we do. We actually reproduce our animals. We are, we are breeders. We're just not, we're just not going to say, and we're going to breed these for conservation. And we're going to do this and we're going to reproduce them. We like to show you guys the whole thing. We like to show you the, the breeding behavior, explain it to you, the actual copulation, the mama having babies. But today... Now, there's a little backstory to this one, <laughs> okay? This morning, I checked on my on my female basiliscus because she's gravid, this the Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. She's the she's the mean bitch, okay? And uh, I discovered she had a pretty good litter of babies in there, and so I'm like, okay. I lifted the high box, checked them out. I go, oh, there's 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 a good number of them in there, and they're big. And I was like, okay, I'm getting ready to get Dina in here, and we're gonna start doing the live video right there for you guys so you can see it just as it is but she wasn't done she wasn't completely done so i let her sit and two years ago when she dropped a, a litter of babies she'd done this same procedure where she sat for like 12 to 14 hours and then she finished and i've never seen a rattlesnake do that have like half a litter and then a day later have the rest of them so i let her sit all day i come in and checked her and, and she's still had to spit the rest out so i'm thinking well i'm gonna have to pull them little babies so she don't inadvertently land them and crush them because she's big and the babies are gonna run right in the hide with her and, and she's so big and she'll she'll smother them you know so literally i was gonna have to go in and start pulling babies but i was gonna run her into a hide box block that box off so i'm not handling her while she's still got babies in her at this you know getting ready to have them and then pick the babies out. But now I shot this before I did this. Be before this, this this little scene right here of the babies in there. But let me tell you what happened. <laughs> I come back in to run her into the hide box. And I poked at her and kind of lifted her and guided her to the hide box. And she blew out a big wad of feces. <laughs> it was nasty. Oh my God. It went all over my arm. It was just, she was backed up a little bit with all the babies in her. <laughs> Oh my god, I had to go take a shower. It was it was foul. <laughs> but she's like, there, that's to top it off if you're gonna take my babies. <laughs> but anyways. So she's done. She finished them. Okay. She and, and and we've got a nice big litter of babies. We haven't pulled them out yet. We haven't counted them. But um I had to extract her after she defecated all over me. 
<laughs> and I was gonna leave her in there thinking she might have a few more in her, but no, it was it was feces. <laughs> they say, you know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> but as part of breeding venomous snakes, you're gonna get shit on once in a while. <laughs> but okay, guys. But anyways, um, we're gonna go in and do a head count, and we're gonna pull the little squirts out, and they're big. Oh, they're so big. It's the biggest baby. Mexican West Coast that I've ever produced. They're 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 pretty good size. But um hey, this shirt, her punters, okay? This is my buddy Mark and his boys. They got a little YouTube channel and um he's trying to grow it and and, and he's a good guy and I love the boys. They are wild animals. They are they are snake crazy. But uh go over and check out their channel. It, it's Herp Hunters 2020. And Mark's a pretty smart guy. He's he's a genius when it comes to turtles and stuff. But uh we're gonna get busy guys and we're gonna show you the babies and start pulling babies out and get a head count. Okay guys now what we got going on here our little uh, our our little our big female basiliscus, and this is the real pretty one. She had just dropped a litter of babies. This is our second litter of the year for all of our breeding projects. And there is a pile of baby basiliscus in there. <laughs> Look at all them little squirts. And I see a few slugs in there. That's them orange things. That's an unfertile ova that she just passes through. It's just it's part of it but um and here's the thing it doesn't look like she had a big clutch but i discovered this this morning and i kind of just let him be and i lifted this high box thinking she would be done by now but she looks like she still has some in her but what i need to do is i need to pluck these babies out of here i mean they, they they've been sitting here for 12 hours and the thing is if she'd done this two seasons ago she had like half of the babies okay and then the next day the following day 24 hours later she spit out 10 more so it, it, it's kind of a sticky situation because i don't want to pick her up and move her but i need to pull these little babies out because once she goes back into her hide box what she'll do is she'll just you know accidentally lay on them and possibly suffocate a few of them so we don't want that to happen so what I'm going to do with that big mama right there is I'm going to run her into that hide box over there and I'm going to close it off and then I can go in and pick these babies out. We can do a head count and see what we got and then we'll let her be for the rest of the evening and she'll probably have some more by morning or who knows she may split out you know just spit a few more slugs but she's been sitting for 12 hours and there's been no more so I know that she's she's going through the same process that she did two seasons ago so just to make sure these babies don't get damaged or injured by her because she's so damn big and she'll she'll inadvertently just lay on them and suffocate them we're gonna go ahead and pull them and uh, but the one interesting thing about this 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 breeding this year is these babies are the biggest basiliscus babies I've ever seen I'm going to tell you something. They are big enough to take down like a small mouse right now. They're huge. I I mean, they're just monsters. Unbelievable. And there looks like there may be, I don't know, 12, 15 of them in there so far. But very cool. There's another successful breeding at Venom Central. And this is what we like to show you guys. We like to show you the, the actual breeding behavior, the copulation, the babies being born. We like to prove it that we're, we're we're actually captive propagating our animals. We're not going to get on our channel and just show you one and say, oh, well, we breed these and this is what I bred and here's one of them. No, we prove it. We show all of it. We show the whole process. And there's our mama. And she has the pretty baby. She has the, just the electric yellowish green one. So all these little squirts, they're going to be gorgeous and they're big and a lot of them are in blue so just like with our baby Zobcon they're gonna they're gonna take off they're gonna shed right away and they're gonna start eating right away so we're gonna get busy with it guys we're gonna start plucking babies run that mama in that hide close her off and 
go in here and do a head count. Okay, guys, we're going to go in and start doing a head count. We got to pick these little squirts out one by one and get them into a tub. And I've removed the cranky mama after she sprayed me down. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, um, I'm going to use that for a little platform. And let's just see here. And they're all back up here in this corner. And they're already squirrely as a son bitch. Come here, little guy. You guys ain't gonna be easy, are you? Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> well, we're gonna try a different one. There's one, <laughs> and they're runners. All right, there's another one. Oh, yeah, they're squirrely little guys. But look at the size of these things already. Oh my God, that's crazy. They are big babies. Jesus. And that's not even, a, there's the, those are two of the smaller ones. I think that's the runt right there. And they're dirty and they, they need to shed and do all of that, but, but they are big babies. And you guys see like, this is why I use that little platform because it's hard to keep a little a little snake like that on the hook and we don't want to injure them but that these these things are huge <laughs> I'm just blown away just how big they are three and there's a pile of them in here there's another one and that's four and these things are going to turn into such beautiful rattlesnakes they're going to be like this beautiful lime green color one two three four and there's a pile of them in here i bet you there's 12 15 of them oh that's going to be a stunner right there i can just tell by the way that snake has already got some tan on it it's going to be a really bright yellow animal Five. And the thing is, with these basiliscus guys, what happens is, you know, they're born, they kind of look like little baby western diamondbacks. And after the first couple sheds, they start showing color. They start really popping. And you can tell which ones are going to look like what. But this female that bred with this male, this pair produces the most beautiful basiliscus you've ever seen. I mean, they produce some stunners. Good genetics and they get big you know uh the name basiliscus it, it it actually refers to you know king you know like uh king bas basiliscus is it it, it it it's the meaning of king like because of his size because of the basiliscus size and the potent venom crowless is uh oh okay here we go <laughs> Oh, that is a huge one. They are big. <laughs> oh my God, they're monstrous. Get in there. Look at them squirreling all over in there. You know what? I should have got a damn taller tub because they can crawl right out of there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Okay. But before I got sidetracked on my thought, um, the name Crotalus basiliscus, it, it, you know, Crotalus is, it, it is, uh, actually means tightly coiled, Crotalus, uh, spring-like. And basiliscus means king, king-like, referring to their, their size because basiliscus gets so large. And they're all healthy big strong babies wow they are all in great shape i didn't have no deformities i didn't have no stillborns um there was let's see one two three four five six there were six slugs and i thought she may have had more in her but after she defecated and 
I'm like, oh, she's done, which was which is good. She had this this was a nice litter for her. And she's had more babies in the past, but they weren't nowhere near this size. They were nowhere, they were half the size of this. They were nowhere near that size. Okay, guys, we're gonna pick out a few more and then we're gonna get a total head count. Okay, guys, and this is the last one. And we have a perfect dozen, 12 brand new baby Crowless Basiliscus. But look at the size of that thing. I, I'm just blown away just how big this 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 litter is. is the size of these damn babies is unbelievable. I'll bet you, you know what, if I, I'll bet you they're 12 inches. You know what, I'm gonna get a, a damn tape measure. I, I wanna know how long they are, but there, I'll bet you they're, they may even be longer than 12 inches. But anyways, we'll do that in a later video. <laughs> I'm excited, I love my basiliscus. Okay guys, let's get a, let's get a better look at all these little newborns that were just born here today. And we have got 12 big, healthy, baby basiliscus and they look phenomenal they are just they're chunky little guys i mean and there are some really neat ones in this clutch i mean and they're huge oh my god they're huge these are the biggest baby basiliscus that i've ever produced i swear to god they're they're at least 14 inches long i mean they're big enough to pound down uh, like almost a small mouse right now. I mean, there's going to be no no fuzzy, pinky things going on with these guys. These guys are going to be taking mice. I mean, this one is going to be cool. That's going to be a lime green one, I can tell already. And there are some really neat patterned ones in here. There's some of them that got nice, long, like, lateral stripes on them, like this one. Cool stuff. Oh, I love this. I love breeding rattlesnakes. But, um... I'm just blown away of just how big they are. <laughs> this tub is 16 inches long, okay? And look at this. Look at that. This tub is 16 inches, and if they stretch out, they're just a little shorter than it. I mean, they're they're monstrous. Well, they hold true to their name, Crowless Basiliscus. Basiliscus in Greek, it, it, it means king. Because they are the king of rattlesnakes down there in Mexico. They are the biggest. And they will rival an Eastern Diamondback here in the States. I mean, Basiliscus get massive. And that just shows you how big their babies are. Their babies are massive. But this female and this male, this pairing, they have the beautiful babies. And right now they look kind of muddy and nasty. But wait till they shed. And they get two or three sheds off them. And the color starts popping on them. And there is some neat ones in here. Oh, I'm so happy about this breeding. What is that? That's the damn mice fighting. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We got we got something for you here. We got we got twelve baby basiliscus that'll be eating you guys here shortly. <laughs> but awesome, another successful breeding here at Venom Central, and we love sharing this with you guys. This is my passion. This is what I do. But how awesome is that? And we were we were thankful to catch it and bring it to you guys. But now I've cleaned out. The cage and removed all the smell from these babies um hopefully it calms big mama down and uh we've got to put maximus which is our monster male and the mama back in their unit so hang in there guys and we're gonna we're gonna show you the big ones okay guys um we have cleaned out that unit and picked out all the gook and freshened everything up. Now we can put the pair of basiliscus back. Um, we're gonna start with with Maximus with, with with our big male. And he's in shed, so he'll run in and run right in his high box, which is ideal. Then we'll put her in second because if I put her in first, she'll bite him because she's in that mode right now, and she'll run in the other hide. So this way, I ain't gotta leave them out in their tubs overnight. Put them back in and let them both chill out and settle down. But we're gonna start with the daddy. And this is what, God, he's huge. <laughs> that is one big rattlesnake. Um, this is what them little babies will turn into in like six, seven years. Okay, Maximus. He's like, where are my babies? Get my babies, huh? Come on, big guy. Is 
position here. I can't get my hand around him anymore. Oh, that's a big rattlesnake. There you go, buddy. Right in your hide box. Of course, he ain't going in his hide box. He's going to cruise around. He'll run in there, though. There you go, Bubba. He's such a big rattlesnake. I mean, it's 20 pounds, guys. 20 pound rattlesnake. If you haven't seen the video, go back to the 20 pound rattlesnake video. <laughs> and I got a new tub today. <laughs> I got me a new tub. I use these little tubs from Walmart as shift boxes and to hold the big snakes. Okay. Get that out of the way, and now let's put our our little mama in there. All right, girl, and she done such a good job. And I tell you, she didn't even lose any weight. I mean, she looks she looks spectacular. Let me get this can kind of close. She's not as big as him, but she's still a pretty impressive rat snake. Now look at that. She is not skinny. She didn't lose a bunch of weight. That's not a good position for me. Let's just get her repositioned so I can lift her up and put her in there. I know, baby. She's probably a little bit exhausted after dropping all them babies. And she just continuously wants to keep coming towards me. It's something when they get in motion and they got a certain mindset of going one way you can't change it that's the way they're going to keep going <laughs> and i want to spin her around and get her in the right position so i can tail her there we go that's what i need and then we can lift her up very nicely and set her right back in there that's a good girl and now the big male sliding right right into his box and this little witch will go into her box nobody bit each other everybody's safe the happy couple's back together <laughs> good job y'all gave us 12 more big baby basiliscus all right guys if you're new to the channel Hit the big logo and subscribe. And come on back and check out Venom Central. This is Willie checking out. Later.